Good morning. Coming to the next uh, programming assignment two, that is nothing but divisors. Here we are having uh, given two integers n and m. And if you see here that uh, consider a sequence of a of length n. So this is the length of the n and it should have a sequence of uh, a. a is a1, a2, so on, on sequence of uh, numbers. And if we add all these numbers, then we need to get m. Find the maximum possible value of the GCD of a1, a2, so on, a n. So this is the uh, case given and if you see here we are having two integers n comma n. So output should be printed as a GCD, uh, greatest uh, common GCD. See here <coughs> if you have taken n is equal to 3 and uh, m is equal to 14. So 3 means we need to have a sequence of numbers a1, a2, a3. So that should be equal to the 14. So what are the numbers, uh, what are the three numbers that should be equal to 14. So if you consider three numbers like 2, 4, 8, if you see these are 2, 4, 8 are the sequence of numbers, these are equal to 3 and if you add all these numbers then we will get 14. So in this, among this, the greatest common divisor is 2. So we need to print the output as 2. So consider a sequence a1, a2, a3, this is equal to the n value and if you add all these numbers a1, a2, a3, we need to get this m value. The greatest common divisor is 2 and the maximum value. In particular, there is no sequence involving number larger than 2, for which is a sum of 14 and the GCD is a larger than 2. So the output should be 2. This is the program. Next, if you had taken 10 and 123 also, we need to have the numbers. The sequence should be a1, a2, so on, a10. That should be equal to 123 and the output should be the greatest common divisor that is 3. Okay, this is how you need to write the program. So for this, I have written a program that is in C programming language. Okay, if you see this program, this is a program. And if you execute this, this you will get the output. Okay, so you analyze the program and understand the program. Thing is that no need to copy the program. You just analyze the program and uh, try to do the program by your own. Okay, thank you.